is going on everyone, welcome back to a brand new video today here on my channel. Now this is a brand new type of video, I've never made this before. Um, I'm going to be using online key stores, a game pyro software, to buy a Russian key. Um, and I'm going to show you how to activate it through VPN. I'm also going to show you how to use a proxy to access Russian games um, through Steam if the activation didn't quite work or if there were issues where it's still telling you it's region locked even though you thought that you activated it properly. I'm going to show you how the proxy works. So if you guys do enjoy this, go ahead and hit the like button. If it did help you out, let me know in the comment section below. Also, let me know in the comment section below if you have any other inquiries regarding this website. And I'll try and put a tutorial um, for you. But anyway, if you go ahead and click the link in the description, um, you will see that there is, it will take you to their website, right? So it will take you to their main website. You want to go ahead and click this big red button called download, where it says download. You download it, um, and then you install it. It's about, what, like three or four megabyte, I believe, so it's really not difficult. So you just download it, install it, then you click onto this application, and also... Log in with your online key store uh, details, so it'd be like your email password. And then after you've done that, it is like just using the browser store, um, as well as a few new features. You got like your account info, your games. Uh, you can start Steam through it, start the proxy and VPN, which we'll get into. Um, settings, remote help, support and help. Um, and then obviously you can look through all of their latest games, their best sellers, the pre-orders, etc. So I'm going to show you how to do it today. But today we are going to be buying um, the Dying Light Russian key because I want to show you how it works obviously because so we're going to be buying the Dying Light Russian key reduced from 50 euros to 1690 um, and I do want to play this game anyway it's quite a good game so I'm going to go ahead and click checkout um, we're going to go ahead and click next we're going to then use uh, my account wallet because I have the money on my account wallet and you can use your account wallet um, you can just load money to your account wallet if you'd like um, it is so so much easier if you want to put the money on there now and then possibly buy a product later you can do so um just add what you'd like to it and and do it that way um but i have the money in my account wallet to pay for this so i'm going to go ahead and do that i'm also going to use my discount code which you can also find in the description if you'd like um which is just crazy and if you apply that um you also get a little bit of a discount um so might as well do it doesn't really take much effort and it helps me out as well if you do want to do it and then you go ahead and complete the order your order is being placed. Please wait. Thanks a lot. We appreciate your business. Um, to receive bonus credit, it's simply deposit review of your purchase. So, okay, uh, I don't particularly want to do that. But then we, we go on that. Um, we go ahead and click My Games. And you will see that it is there. So we can get my key, get my download, um, and do it like that. So let's get the download. Right, so we can uh, use Game Pyro. Um, and it shows you how to, to use it to activate your game. There's also a video tutorial. But I obviously do want to just get the game. So I'm going to go ahead and get, click get my key. Um, and it would download. Basically it would download like a, a software for you. So if you click that. Um, it will download it for you. Right so guys now that I've downloaded my key. Um, it will literally give you a, um, a zip file. So a .zip um, file. And then it has a text document which will give you the link that you need. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and copy that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy um, and then I can close that. I'm not worried about you seeing it because at the time that this is this has been recorded, obviously you've seen me do it, so there's it's no real issue um, for you to see that. But I'm going to go ahead and now click Start VPN. I'm going to click Russian VPN, and it will say Russian VPN active. It should launch up Steam for me, um, which if not, you can just do yourself. It's not really much of a big deal, but you can just click Start Steam. It's not really difficult. But if you click Steam, um, it will load it up. Then you go ahead and log in. And once we've done this, it should be pretty straightforward from there. It should come up with a Russian games, for example. It should just allow you to do anything like this. Um, and once we've done that, look, there you go. The Russian prices, everything. It is the full Russian, uh, the full Russian store. Basically, that's it. So that's all you need to do. To be fair, the the program doesn't cost anything. You can just download it off their website, which is why I'm so amazed with it. Um, you can go ahead and just do that. Now, if we want to activate this, I'm gonna I'm gonna launch into a game and do it that way because you need to access the the web browser through Steam. And for me, the quickest way um, to access the web browser through Steam is by going to um, into a game and then just shift tab in and doing it that way. So you'll see me in a sec, um, and we'll be straight launched into an FM an FM game basically. You don't actually need to play the game; you just need to access it. 
Um, and if there is another way actually to do this, let me know in the comments. Um, but for now, this is what I'm going to do. So I'll be back in a second. Right, so guys, now that I've launched the F1 game, I'm not actually going to be... I'm not 100% sure if you can see this. Yeah, I think you can. Um, but now that I've launched the F1 game, what I need to do is I'm literally just going to go click a web browser. Um, it will come up with Google, which is simple. And then literally I just paste the link into there and it press enter. And then when it loads, it will say that I've got one more thing, uh, one new gift. So now that that's done, I can literally just quit the game um, and go onto my Steam and it will work. So I'll be back in a second, back into um, the Steam, uh, basically Steam, and then we'll, we'll go from there. Right, so guys, here we are, back in Steam, and it says you've received the gift, Dying Light, um, and it tells me to either accept or decline the gift. Of course I'm going to accept it. Um, it says that it's restricted and can only be played in these countries, Russian Federation, um, uh, as, as a Bajan, uh, Georgia, Kazakhstan, um, freaking loads of different countries, right, basically, um, in these countries alone. So I'm just going to click add to my library, and it will say that I can because I'm technically in Russia, according to this VPN. So it does work like that. And then I go into here, and it says that I have Dying Light. And then if I go to click to install it, it tell me how big it is. I can agree, create a desktop shortcut, and it will go to install it for me, um, and it will work perfectly fine, guys. It will work... It was incredibly quick. It works insanely fast for us. Just literally, you never have to activate VPN again. And if you do, that's what the proxy's for. So what I'm going to do now is, whilst it's allocating disk space for Dying Light, I'm going to go ahead and show you how the proxy works, and we're going to go from there. So I'll see you again in a second. All right, so guys, here we are back at the uh, Game Pyro software, and I'm going to start clicking uh, Start Proxy now. I've got a... An account which I tried to activate Rocket League on, but I messed it up. I done it completely wrong. So um, I'm going to show you now that this does work, right? So I can go to my library, and because this is a Russian key, a Russian Rocket League key, it now allows me to use it. It will come up with Game Pyro Proxy, uh, Proxify Portable. It'll go through all of these different things, um, doing Steam everything, right? So it'll just do its thing in the background. Like I said, this is a free software, so it doesn't cost you anything, and it can be found from a very very reliable source literally just click the link in the description and it will take you to their website and then you click download that is it it's that simple um, so you don't have to pay for anything at all you never have to pay for it in the future and then you can click play which I'm not going to do because obviously it'll launch it and mess up the recording but it will work if this doesn't work it will say install so I'm going to show you now what that looks like and then I'm going to show you that the error message is the exact same so you will see that I have the exact same library everything Right, so I'm, I'm I'm telling you the truth, okay? So it, it does work. So I'll be back in a second, and then I will show you that it will come up saying install, and then it will tell me it's region locked. Right, so I've clicked uh, prox and uh, basically turned the proxy off. Um, I'm going to start loading uh, Steam again, and it's just going to connect my Steam account, and then it will come up. Um, I can then click on my library, and it will say install. Um, like I said, this is the exact same account. The exact same account, okay? So I can click install. This game is activated with a product code that is uh, valid only in a specific geographical region. Um, since you are currently not in that region, Rocket League is not available to play. So the proxy falls Steam, just Steam. It doesn't mess with any other internet program. And it will keep your ping the exact same. So normally if I was to use a VPN and launch this game and play online, my ping would be maybe over 200 and I would lag in game. So using a proxy, that won't happen. Um, and you won't have to worry about in-game lag and, and things like that. So now that I can actually play it using this proxy, um, it would allow you to play any, un well, basically any games that were activated wrongly, if that makes any sense. If you accidentally done something wrong, you have the proxy to back you up, basically. It will work. It will do anything you need it to do. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. Like I said, if you have enjoyed, please go ahead, hit the like button. Go ahead and check out onlinekeystore.com. Um, and if you want to buy any games, if you uh, fancy buying any games from them, definitely use the discount code CRAZY at checkout. So K-A-R-A-Z-Y um, at checkout. 
and it will save you 5% and also help me out as well. So you don't pay any extra, you just you pay less and you help me out. So hopefully you guys will enjoy that um, and I will see you in another video. Take care guys. Thank you.